Hi, you guys. So you are working on model 4.14. And let me show you how to kind of dissect this. Let me move this over and we'll go over a couple things real quick. Okay. So kind of look at this like a tissue box. We have this rectangle. There's a section cut down the middle of it. You can see this right here. The section is not cut all the way through. It comes down three inches. So because of that, you cannot sketch both of these rectangle pieces in one sketch. You have to do them separately. If you do them as part of one sketch, it will automatically put this inside rectangle all the way through. So we can't do that. So we're going to first sketch our outside rectangle, extrude it the four inches that you see here, and then we're going to sketch our inside rectangle and extrude it the three inches you see here. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Okay, so I already have a part started. Um, make sure you save it. And then I'm going to start a sketch. And I always, 99% of the time, want my part on center with the origin. So when I come up to rectangle, I'm going to actually choose the two point. That way I start with my center point. So the center point's going to go here and you can see how this works. So my dimension across the top is seven. Hit tab. The dimension down the side is going to be 3.5. Hit enter. There we go. So we can see it is seven by 3.5. Let's go ahead and do our extrusion. And the extrusion is the four inches. So I'm going to set that to four. And there we have it. So here we can see that it's just a basic rectangle. Let's go ahead and start a sketch on the top. And then this inside rectangle needs to be on center with the outside. So I'm going to do a construction line that's going to take me just straight down the middle. And then let's go ahead and do one on the outside. Now we didn't actually need to do this one and I'll show you why in just a minute. Let's do the same kind of rectangle. You see a green dot because it's where both of those construction lines intersect. If you didn't do one or the other, you still would have gotten a green dot indicating the midpoint of one of these lines. So I just wanted to make that clear. This is 3.5 by 1.25. Oops, so I did forget to unselect the construction. So I'm just gonna come through and choose each of my lines here and choose the construction line again to unselect it. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and we can see here this is actually moving. It didn't attach like we thought it did. So I'm going to do coincident and I'm going to select this midpoint and I'm going to select the green. And I knew that didn't happen. Let me hit undo. I knew that that was not correct because down here in the corner it says one dimension needed. And so that told me that I'm missing something. Well, I already have both of these. It should have been on center. So that's what was telling me it didn't quite work the way I thought it was. So I'm going to hit coincident one more time. Coincident makes two things touch. And down here it says fully constrained. So let's go ahead and do our extrude. Now we don't want to add the material. We want to remove it. So we're doing a cut. And then our depth is not the full distance. It's three inches. So you can see here, we can see the bottom. So let's go ahead and do all these fillets that we have in here. Um, let's come up and we'll click on fillet. I'm gonna do the outside four corners first and we can see it's radius of 13. So let me go ahead and change that, 0.13. And then I'm going to select each of my corners. And I don't have to rotate this to see that back corner, it's showing it to me. And then 
I also know that this up, these edges here, these ones are 13. So I'm going to go ahead and select these at the same time. And I know the bottom one is 13, so I'm going to go ahead and select those. And then around the edge is also 13, so I'm going to go ahead and select these. And hit OK. Now this says these inside edges here, these corners, are a radius of 18. So I need to do another one. And then go ahead and change that to 0.18. And it's going to be these down here. Hit OK. And as you rotate, we did miss this bottom edges down here. And right here, it's showing us the 13. So let's do those real quick. Change it back to 0.13. Now, if we select a different option here, you can see how it chooses them all at one time. So there are different options here to select and hit OK. There we go. So that is how you create 4.14.